Okay. So Mike, Mike, tell us how that joystick works exactly. Well, this is a this is a Volvo Penta joystick used for docking maneuvers. So you press this button here when your shifters are in neutral, mm -hmm. and uh, you hear a single beep, and there's a, a pop up that tells you docking mode is activated. And basically, uh, if you picture your boat sitting on top of this joystick, mm -hmm. when you were to command the boat to go sideways. Or, or think you want the boat to go sideways, you just push it sideways. If you want the boat just to go forward, you just push it forward and it goes. And as you push it more, it will go faster or, okay. or increase that move. If you want the boat just to rotate, then you would rotate the knob. So I'm gonna rotate the knob and then as I turn it more, it will oh, add yes. throttle. So is it running so, one engine forward and one engine in reverse? Yes, it is. Yeah. It, it automatically, when you engage it, it tows and drives out some and it, uh, it allows the, the boat to be maneuverable quicker with just some slight movements here with forward and reverse and throttle. Mm -hmm. If you twist this more, it may actually adjust the steering as well mm -hmm. during that maneuver. It depends on if you're trying to go uh, at a 45 degree angle this way. It works uh, best in the, the, the straight sideways, straight forward, or, or rotation, so those three different basic okay. commands. Mm -hmm. um, again, if we try to go sideways, Sometimes you will have uh, one under the other uh, not tracking the same speed. So then I can I can move it sideways and then I can rotate. To and make it's up for that. And it's going to see I'm bringing my bow around. Yep. So if I were to pull up next to my dock and the wind is pushing or I've got the tide pushing, uh, all I have to do, I can still keep moving and I just rotate a little bit. One of the nice things about the Volvo Penta joystick handle is it's got this D shape, if you will, or this flat on the back. So regardless of how you're standing in the boat, when you're looking around, you don't lose your orientation of where forward and back is. And that's one of the things that we've learned with... Many uh, people lose their orientation they when they turn around. They do. And, uh, and one of my suggestions always is to place a couple fingers here on the, on the control, and then just gently control with, with a, a finger or two up here. Don't, don't control it like this, and don't think it's a bow thruster pushing it hard over because I, I will exaggerate it. And, I can do this and I can start bouncing the boat back and forth and start before you know it, it you're slamming into a dock or another boat. Mm -hmm. I'm maneuvering out here where there's nothing around, but when you're up at the dock, I try to move with very small, very gentle movements. And, and if it doesn't go the way I want it to go, I just let go and everything goes to neutral. Everything stops, per se, and then I can just readjust. So if I have a panic moment, I let go of everything and it stops. Yeah. The opposite is, if I have it in gear, and I have a panic moment and I go like this and I let go, the boat continues to move and now it's gonna take somebody off the dock or hurt somebody. So that's that's what's really neat. If you're in high current or high wind conditions, I've never had to use this, only for demonstration purposes, but you can push this high mode and it says high work speed mode activated. And simply what that does is it does everything the same except for as you push it more and more, the top RPM is increased. So now when I push it over, now the engines will rev higher. Not much more, but when you're at the dock, maybe that's enough to, to deal with high winds or high current or both at the same time. Well, thank you, Mike.